going on guys? Black Scout Survival and today we're doing another tactical military watch review. So we're doing tactical military survival watches and we've been doing, you know, about one a month, one every other month. And we've been doing it anything from smart watches to divers, field watches, automatics, course movements. We're doing the whole game and that way you can have various options because we think time is a critical thing for survival or tactical operations. So today we got a fairly new watch brand. This is the Ares watch by Matt Graham. And this is a fairly new company. Matt Graham used to run uh, Graham Combat, a training company, and he was also a former uh, Federal Air Marshal. He also was an employee of the CIA. Once he retired, he made Ares watches, and these watches are supposed to be mission timer designed for you know military, tactical, law enforcement, those sort of things. So this watch had a lot of buzz because it's, it's, it's a new watch company. It has you know It looks great and has a lot of uh, cool features. Let's kind of talk about the case and everything real quick, the specs, the rundown of it. What we have here is a USA made, which is which is fabulous, a USA made case from a stainless steel, 316L stainless steel that's been bead blasted. And they also have a black PVD version you can buy um, and stuff like that. Now it's hard to get these watches. They're, they're usually sold out for various periods and very difficult to get. This is a 42 millimeter watch, has a 22 millimeter uh, lug to lug here. So that's kind of, usually watches 42 millimeter have a 20 millimeter. This has a 22 millimeter, so a little bit wider strap than what you'd experience on a lot of watches. This watch actually has some of the best loom that I've ever seen on a watch. So here you see a loom shot here. The bezel's actually loomed. It has five layers of C3 Super Luminova, which is incredible. That's a, a most loom I've ever seen on a watch before. Looks great. Would be great for nighttime operations. So we have traditional pins here to hold in a strap. They also give you NATOs and things like that. And you can buy other rubber straps. This is a Aries branded rubber strap it came on. We have two crowns here. We have a timer, GMT crown, and then a GMT inner bezel. We'll go over that in a second. We have an ETA 2893 TAC2 automatic movement with 21 joules. Now, the watch we purchased here is a GMT Diver 1. It is supposed to have Aries filigree and enamel. Ours did not come with that. It came with a blank stamped or non-stamped ETA movement. So we didn't really get what we paid for here, right? But there's a sapphire crystal back here. So you can see the movement, which is a nice touch. I like that. Looking at the front of the watch, we have a flat sapphire here. You know, obviously not going to get scratched and things like that. It's supposed to have a thousand meter water resistant. Now this is a diver and a GMT, which is pretty unique. Not a lot of companies make those type of watches. 1,000 meters, supposedly all of them are tested. I do find that hard to believe because we've seen in the Aries watch group some watches that have taken on water just from people swimming in the swimming pool. So that's kind of uh, scary to think that you spend this kind of money on a diver watch and then you get in the swimming pool and it's supposed to be rated at 1,000 meters and it'll get soaked, you know. I'll never go 1,000 meters underwater, so I'll never need that much, but just enough to go swimming or, you know, regular diving. So we have... Like I said, two crowns here. This one here is the timer. This red one here is the GM, um, inner GMT bezel. And what I do like is that it has a kind of spring that pops out the crown. And this moves that inner bezel. So you can track multiple time zones with this watch. And I do like the red crown, it looks good. If you notice the crown's on the left side too, that way it's not digging into your wrist. If you're bending your wrist back, which is a, a nice feature as well. The standard ones, the non-GMT, actually just have the crown here. So you won't have that one there, and it'll be up here in the uh, 10 o'clock position. That way it doesn't dig in your wrist. We always like trying to support people in the community. However, while the, our watch is not having problems mechanically, we do have two issues with it. One, obviously, the movement's not, uh, doesn't have the markings as it should. And I don't know if you can tell this, this watch is supposed to have a red GMT hand. This has a Coyote Brown GMT hand, which looks odd because this watch is the standard Aries GMT Diver 1. So it should have our matching red hand to match the text here in the red crown. This is actually a Coyote Brown hand from the Triple Alt Design Aries collaboration version. So my thoughts is they just probably had some spare parts laying around. Maybe they ran out of uh, red GMT hands and they just threw a Coyote Brown GMT hand on, which if you contact the customer and ask them and say, hey man, would you mind taking a, a, a Coyote Brown GMT hand, I would say, you know, no, I, I don't want that going to refund me because it just looks weird. Um, 
However, at least give the option to the customer, not just to make the decision for them. The other thing is this isn't an accident. Someone had to put this watch together by hand and then someone had to pressure test it, who I would suppose is the owner of the company because that's what he says he does. He pressure tests all of them by hand. You have to look at this. So it, to me, it's, this isn't a quality control issue like you're like not checking them. You just don't give a damn. You're sending out whatever you have laying around out of what parts you can build it, to me, is what it seems like, which is a huge problem for me because this watch costs a lot of money. We've also heard in the Aries owners group, people that you know own watches that were fans, who are no longer fans because we've seen things such as hands falling off guys that their their crowns came with loctite on them so they could not even set the time we've seen people trying to set the time and the hour hand won't move we've seen a ton of bad things we've seen guys with loose bezels bezels misalign and apparently that was a huge issue like all watches they were putting out the 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 triangle would not line up with the 12 o'clock Every watch came screwed up apparently, but he made a fix for that. Or just correct. One guy had a loose bezel, he said, and it was so loose you could barely touch it. And it would like if you bumped it, you're on a mission and you're using this timing bezel and you bumped it and it jumped off. I mean, you would lose your time count. But anyway, he sent his back. It took weeks for him to get a new one back and they sent him a, the wrong color watch. Uh, actually, they sent the wrong color watch to begin with. So he had to send it back. Within the, when they sent him the replacement, it was another guy's watch instead of his own watch and that watch came with a loose bezel and that was actually missing the date here another guy in the aries group alex hundos was talking about he he bought six thousand dollars worth of watches most of them had a bezel misaligned they had marred cases um wrong straps just various qc problems it would take months for him to get emails back replies back it would take months for him to get the watches people were are complaining about sending their watches in for warranty and, and taking five to six, seven, eight months to get their watches back. And then again, they'll get wrong, the wrong watch sent to them or the watch comes with another issue. So to, to me, that warranty, I just don't trust it. At this point, I don't know I can trust this watch. I mean, the amount of issues I've heard with this watch over positive reviews is, is just kind of disheartening. And honestly, we only purchased this watch to do the review because we wanted to see if there was truth in all the issues that we found. And just the attention to detail here of, of not having the correct hand or just not selling what you're telling the consumer that you're, they're buying is an issue for us. This hand, you know, in the military, we talk about attention to detail because something like this could mean there's a bigger issue with the watch and we just hadn't found out yet. We could be out on a, a dive, diving with this watch, trusting it with our life and all of a sudden the the mechanics fell in it, or it takes on water. It does something that where that it could, you know, put us in a life-threatening situation. So to me, I don't trust this watch. It's truly not worth the money. And and again, I hate to bash a product, but I wanted to like this watch because I like the overall design of it. I like the aesthetics of it. I like the idea behind it. However, just the care is just not here with this watch and this company. So to me, this is a no-go, guys. I would truly, I just. For me, we won't be purchasing anymore. Uh, this is it. We, we learned our lesson and we just wanted to, you know, try it out because it's, it's a pretty popular watch, you know, and, and, and I don't want you investing money in something without hearing bad reviews as well as good reviews. So anyhow, guys, leave your comments below on what your thoughts are. If you have any experiences with the watch, let me know. And as always, guys, appreciate your support. Make sure you stay frosty, stay strapped and stay dangerous and always have a watch you can trust. Take care.